Welcome back everyone, in this video I'll show you how to install one of the fastest custom version of Windows 11 created by developers who have been making custom ISOs since Windows XP it's completely safe and much faster than other custom ISOs like Atlas and Review OS and you can use it to play games without any lag or enjoy a highly responsive Windows experience before we get started let me show you the performance difference between a freshly installed regular Windows 11 on my left and Optimum 11 Pro on my right. Windows 11 has around 168 running processes while Optimum 11 Pro only has 65. For threads, Windows 11 has around 2530 compared to Optimum's 765. And for the handle, Windows 11 has about 73,000, while Optimum has just 765. That is a huge difference. Now I'm using a custom ISO called Optimum 11 Pro. On the taskbar, you'll notice we only have the Windows logo and the File Explorer icon. Let's click on the Windows logo and check out the Start menu. It looks very different, clean and simple. You can see we only have basic items like accessibility tool, applications, and a game section. The games include classic like Mines Sweeper, similar to what we had on Windows 7 and 8. Apart from that, you've got the startup items, Windows accessories, Windows PowerShell, and more, including Windows tools and the custom XLite tools. Now the XLite tool includes an optional third-party search bar that helps you search for any file on your computer and it works really well. You've also got a shortcut to toggle the Windows firewall on or off. Now personally, I like this type of start menu. It's neat, clean and free of clutter, which makes it perfect for me. Now if I open the file explorer, you'll see it's in the dark mode, but the layout remains unchanged. Now, if I right click on the desktop to bring up the context menu, you'll see many options have been added. You can open the command prompt as an administrator, access the control panel, and even kill unresponsive tasks, which is an amazing feature for when an application becomes unresponsive. Additionally, there is an option to restart the explorer, which can be useful for applying changes and fix in many issues. You also have the option to start your computer in safe mode, either normally or with networking, directly from the context menu. Additionally, you can access system properties from here, which allows you to restore your computer or make various visual changes. You also get new options in the context menu for display settings and personalize, which are very useful additions. On the desktop icon, you'll find extras and info. Clicking on these provide shortcuts and various tools such as desktop shortcuts, PowerShell access, and the ability to change your username. Additionally, you have option for enabling printing, accessing guide, and installing application from the Microsoft Store. You can also install web browser like Chrome, Edge, or Firefox directly from here. From here, you can also enable or disable widgets as needed. There is an option to open Windows registry if you want to make any changes, and you can apply those changes directly from here. Additionally, there is a link to the Windows x -Lite info where you can visit the developer's channel for more information. Now you also have additional wallpapers beyond the one currently in the background. If you want to change it, you can do so here. There's also a game icon, clicking on it shows all the available games. Now let's play a game and see the difference. I've already installed Minecraft for this test on my regular Windows 11 machine. I was getting an FPS around 22 to 28, However, after installing the Optimum 11 custom ISO, the FPS increased to around 40 to 48. So there is a noticeable difference. And with this custom ISO, 
you'll be enjoying a smoother gaming experience with higher FPS and no lag. All right, that's all about the custom ISO. Now let's see how to use it and install it. We're back to the regular Windows 11 screen. Now to create the custom Windows 11 ISO, let's open your browser and let's visit this Windows X Lite website. I left the link in the descriptions. Now they have created this custom ISO for those with lower end PCs or anyone looking for a best performance and gaming experience. Now, if you want to learn more, you can read more about it on their website. Scroll to the very bottom of the page and find the download link. Click on it and you'll be taken to the Mediafire page. From here, let's click on the download to start the process. The file is around 3 GB, so it might take some time. Once the download is complete, you'll receive a zip file. Right click on it, select extract all, and then click on extract to begin the process. Once extracted, you'll get a folder named Windows X Lite. Open it and you'll find multiple files, including the Windows X Lite ISO image. You'll also find the Rufus, which we'll use to create the bootable USB drive for this custom ISO. Let's connect your USB drive, the one you want to use for creating the bootable USB. Once you connect it, double click on the Rufus software and click yes when prompted to allow Rufus to check for updates. Now the Rufus dashboard will appear. If your USB drive is already connected, it should be detected automatically. If not, click on the drop down menu and select the correct USB drive. In the boot selection section, choose the ISO image, then click on select. And locate the Windows X Lite ISO file, select it and click on open. You don't need to change any other settings on this page. Just click on start. A warning message will appear stating that all the data on the USB drive will be destroyed. Just make sure you don't have anything on your USB. Once you confirm, the process will begin. Wait until the bootable USB is created. All right, the bootable USB has been created. Let's click on close to finish. Next, connect the bootable USB to the computer where you wanna install it. Once connected, restart the computer and let's enter the BIOS mode. You'll need to change the boot priority order so that the computer boots from the USB drive on the next startup. Now I'm using a virtual machine, so I'm seeing this type of BIOS screen. Depending on your computer's manufacturer, the BIOS screen might look different for you. Go to the boot sequence, change the boot priority order and select USB. Once it boots, you'll see a screen where the startup is starting. You'll then need to select the operating system you want to install. You have two options. One version with the Windows Defender off, which means it won't include Windows Defender security, and the other option with Windows Defender on. Now, if you're installing this custom ISO on a lower end PC for basic task and security isn't a major concern, you might want to choose the Defender off option. Click next and you'll be prompted to select the partition where you want to install this custom ISO. If you've backed up your data, you can choose the partition where your previous Windows installation was and delete it to install a fresh copy of Optimum 11. If you haven't backed it up, you should either back it up first or select the same partition as your previous Windows and process without deleting it. In my case, since I don't need the old Windows 11, I will delete it and select the same partition and click yes to start the installation process. And finally, Optimum 11 Pro has been installed. The first thing I want to show you is the disk usage. If I open File Explorer and right click on my C drive, then go to Properties, You'll see that only 5.51 GB has been used. 
This is a significant difference compared to the regular Windows 11, which uses around 11 to 12 gigabyte. It's really fast and responsive, making it an excellent choice for gaming or low-end PCs and laptops. I hope you found this information useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye for now.